Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Today I'm gonna talk about the new Warner Bros logos, why they changed and what I think about them. Well, it all started in 2021, when Warner Bros and Discovery announced they would merge and start a new company called Warner Bros Discovery. Horrible name by the way lol. Since 2019, Warner Bros has been using this logo right here, which I really don't like. This seemed like an oversimplification compared to the classic Warner Bros logo we've all known and loved. But in 2022, the merger was finally completed, and, as a way to show the importance of this moment in the company's history, they decided to change their logo once again, but now, to a much better one. The new logo brought back the classic shield, much different from the stretched one on the 2019 logo. Also, it also now had an outline, which was also present in the classic logo. Despite still being really oversimplified, it is less than the 2019 logo, and I really appreciate that. And as a result, many of the Warner Bros. brands also updated their logos. Warner Animation Group went from this weird red logo that I never really understood why they chose red, to this beautiful logo that even looks like it was drawn by hand, and that with its bright colors, represent all the fun and happiness you could get from watching their animations. They also changed its name from Warner Animation Group to Warner Bros. Pictures Animation, much better. And the Warner Bros. Pictures one, not much has been done. They basically updated the shield and changed a bit of the font, but as I found the old one really horrible, this rebrand is pretty refreshing. And the Warner Bros. Television Studios logo, which they also changed its name now to Warner Bros. Television, they also didn't change much, but it's still much much better. They also updated their television group logo, their unscripted television logo, their international television production logo, and even their international television production Australia logo. But it seems like they still have to update a bunch of logos, such as the Pictures Group one, the International Television Production Belgium one, the International Television Production Germany one, the International Television Production Netherlands one, the Theatre Ventures one, and the Warner Play one. They also have updated their games logo, which looks much better, but they still have to update the logos of their individual studios. Overall, this is a really big improvement, and I am happy to see we now have a logo that at least resembles the classic Warner Bros logo. So yeah guys, this is it for today, until next Friday, bye. Let's also not forget about the logo they were using in 2021, while the merger was going. Look at this monstrosity.